Welcome everyone for a short update. In yesterday's Zen 4 Ryzen 7000 presentation here on my channel, I actually forgot to mention that the Zen 4 AVX 112 implementation of AMD is actually so much better and totally kicks Intel's S over their older lake and next generation lake there with AVX 112 because actually I forgot to mention that Intel does not support that on consumer client platforms anymore, right? Which is also totally crazy, right? So Intel, previously for the previous years, Intel actually used specific benchmarking with AVX 12 to present their CPU favorable, in my opinion, not very important AVX 12 use cases. And due to the implementation costs of this 512, bit wide data passes and stuff, vector compute, they actually don't, or actually they turbo boosted less, unfortunately, in, in their implementation, and they removed this, right, as crazy as it is in latest all the like platforms, and for one, for one reason, probably because their efficiency cores didn't have that, and then the operating system like Windows or even Linux wouldn't be able to cope with processes using that and scheduling that on the operating system scheduler because and you could implement this right there is nothing that would prevent um, implementing in Linux kernel like CPU feature aware scheduling so that your AVX 12 using processes are only run on the AVX 12 capable cores there is simply no implementation for that but if Intel I, I would actually love to implement this probably doesn't take more, shouldn't, shouldn't take more than like an afternoon or so. If Intel wants, Intel wants to send me an older lake with that enabled, because there were BIOS hacks, the very early Intel older lake customers might remember those, that you could in some BIOSes, like inofficially, obviously due to hacks developed there in, in Taiwan at ASUS and MSI and stuff, Gigabyte, to actually disable the efficiency cores they don't have AVX 12 in the BIOS and then still get AVX 12 enabled. And Intel didn't like that for some reason. And for some use cases that obviously yielded better performance for those neural network and other um, vector math using uh, use cases. And so Intel fused this off, right? Here, even officially on, on Intel's AVX 12 fused off on all the client products, um, will be fused off. Um, and which also, I actually wanted to make a video, but I'm just so busy with obviously develop my T2 distribution that I didn't even make a video that probably would have been a more successful video. Um, probably in the future I should shout out that more because it's certainly a very anti-consumer dick move from Intel, Intel of fusing off a feature that is there in the CPU and Intel just for product skew um, reasons, segmentation reasons, don't want consumers to, to, to use and it is extremely stupid I mean not only the feature is there in the CPUs you need to be a enthusiast right a prosumer to even find the spice option and enable it and then lose certain energy efficiency core features there so yeah super anti-consumer move from Intel and I only wanted to remind you because some people are crying it's also the um, double standards, right? Some Intel fanboys are crying, but AMD's implementation is only like 256 bit wide, two cycle implementations like, yeah, but I mean, I always said, like Linus Torvalds previous video, AVX 12 is not that important in the grand total scheme of things because I want integer and floating point performance for general purpose computing and not this artificial, specially compiled and not generally usable AI and HPC acceleration, but when you already want to use it in some use cases, then AMD's implementation is certainly a very worthwhile decision here of supporting those instructions for some use cases, some acceleration without bloating, you unnecessarily bloating your silicon die space with rarely used bits and features. And certainly a major blow to Intel uh, having a, a major competitive disadvantage because they actually don't have a roadmap even. They disable that, they 
they shipped it previously nobody really used it much it pre prevented boosting it lowered boost clocks and so intel has no roadmap though and normal consumers don't have avx 512 on their windows or so machines and amd is delivering it right just like intel's ia64 they not very successful uh, all by very expensive and power hungry titanium 64 implementation and amd's amd's 64 bit extension to x86 which intel had to license and copy because that was the most successful one so really interesting stuff although i still certainly with linus towers in my previous video not the very most important but now amd has it and intel not strange times anyway just wanted to point this out and put this into perspective especially in very intel stands anyway as always leave in the comments below what you think I hope you learned something and, and have a better overview of this silicon and how those two major x86 competitors currently stand in their latest and greatest um, microprocessor architectures.